Good day guys. Welcome to Matches Made Easy with teacher Satya here. In this video, I'll be teaching us on how to calculate the compound interest when it is compounded yearly using its formula. Make sure you watch the entire video to have a better understanding of this topic. Now let's get to it guys. Now, in order for us to find the compound interest, we need to know three main things, which are the principle, the rate of interest per annum or per year, and the duration. All right, guys. And we'll be using this formula to go ahead and solve few questions. Now, first of all, what we'll be doing is we'll be writing down the formula. So we know the amount formula in compound interest is P. 1 plus r over 100 to the power of n all right guys now you guys might be thinking that why are we using the amount formula so once we find the amount we will take the amount and subtract with the principle to get our compound interest all right guys now in question number one we see that the principle is 7500 multiplied by 1 plus the rate is 6 over 100 to the power of n, which is 2 years, right guys? Now let's go ahead and solve inside the bracket first. So, so we have 7500 multiplied by, now I would advise you not to simplify the fraction here as afterwards, after we break the bracket, the 100 can simplify with the principle so when you find the lowest common multiple and add the fraction we will have 106 over 100 to the power of 2 right guys now let me continue it right here so now what we have is 7500 multiplied with 106 over 100 times 106 over 100 right guys now let's go ahead and simplify the zeros these two zeros can simplify each other easily and what we have in the numerator is 75 multiplied by 106 times 106 over 100 now let's go ahead and solve this question so we have 75 times 106 times 106 and this we have 842700 two seven zero zero divided by 100 which is equal to eight four two seven right guys as these two zeros can simplify each other now we have found the amount right now we are going to go and find the ci so the ci is the amount minus the principal so what we have here is eight four two seven minus our uh, principal which is 7500 now if we subtract it we would get 927 dollars as our compound interest all right guys now let's go ahead and solve one more question we are always going to start by writing the formula down so the amount is p1 plus r over 100 to the power of n n is the amount of years all right guys now let's see what we have here we have the p as 15000 multiplied with 1 plus 15 over 100 to the power of n which is 2 years we're going to do exactly same like the previous question we're going to solve inside the bracket first so 15000 multiplied by 115 over 100 to the power of 2 right guys and we have 15000 multiplied by 115 over 100 times 115 over 100 right guys now let's go ahead and simplify few zeros so these two zeros and these two zeros can simplify this zero and this zero can simplify so what we have now is we have 15 times 115 times 115 divided by 10 
right guys now let's use the help of a calculator 15 times 115 times 115 and this take this divided by 10 we would get 19837.50 so 19837.50 dollars is our amount right guys but we are going to find the ci in order for us to find the compound interest what we will be doing is we will take the amount minus the principal so the amount what we have here is 19837.50 minus it with 15000 and what we would get here is what we would get here is 4837 Point fifty would be our compound interest and that is how we would find the compound interest using its formula now if you did enjoy this video do not forget to hit on that like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos until next time guys have a nice day